Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to use and download Usenet. Uh, so we're going to get right into the meat of it, So I'm because I'm guessing if you search up Usenet tutorial then you already know what it does and you just want to know how to use it. So uh, to get this started we need three pieces uh, of software. Uh, we're going to have to get the client itself, then we're going to have to get the server, and finally we're going to have to get the search engine. Uh, so the first thing we're going to get is the client. Uh, I use SAB and ZBD. I think that it's a free program to start off with and I find it very easy to use and uh, straightforward. Uh, so you're going to go on the website and you're just going to click Windows Installer or, or uh, possibly Mac. Uh, since I'm running it on Windows, I don't know how it runs on Mac exactly. Since I already have it uh, uh, downloaded on my, on my computer, I'm going to disregard this and uh, I'm just going to open it up. So once you open it up, you should see it just like this. It, it runs through your browser, it's not a standalone program. Uh, so we're going to start off the wizard using the English language for me. And over here is when we enter uh, our server info. So we're going to leave this open and we're going to open up a new tab and we're going to go and get server. Uh, for my example I'm going to be using GigaNews, however there's many different kinds and uh, depending on the, uh, which price point you're looking for. Uh, lots of great Lots of great servers available for ten dollars, and uh, Giga News is considered top tier, uh, and it's the most expensive one. But there's there is a loophole where you can keep using prepaid credit cards to keep signing up for free for free uh, trials on different websites, and uh, that's one loophole. But for the price point of ten dollars a month, it's not too bad to just keep an ongoing subscription. So I'm gonna open up Giga News, and uh, just like any other server when you log in you're gonna enter in uh, your info and it will tell you everything that you need to know about your your account how much you've downloaded how much you have left etc and uh, depending on which server you use you also have the you uh, the host information that we're gonna enter into here so for giga news I know that it's uh, news dot giga news Dot com followed by uh, the port number is uh, 563 and that's for the SSL subscription uh, um, and what it does is uh, uh, encrypt your uh, your downloads so nobody's looking at your at your downloads basically and uh, I know that Giga News accepts 50 connection uh, 50 connections so I'm gonna accept that with the SSL so we're gonna test out the server, and we're gonna see that the uh, uh, connection is successful. So we're gonna click next, and that's fine. And this is where we're gonna go on to next. Um, these are two available uh, Usenet uh, search engines where you look up your uh, Usenet downloads, whatever you're looking for. Uh, this one, usebin.com, I don't think that it's uh, accepting invite, uh, accepting applications anymore. Or, uh, no, no, sorry, it is. I'm thinking about another one. Uh, this one you can enter in, uh, uh, you, but you have to pay for this one. you got to enter in your information, and then you can download uh, the uh, NZBD files. And then another option is the NZB matrix, and again, uh, you enter in your info, and uh, you download whatever you want to download. But for me, uh, I'm going to finish this off because I'm going to be showing you another one uh, that's a free alternative. So while this is restarting, uh, we're going to go and uh, look at the free you know, search engine. So what I use is uh, use. Sorry. I'm going to be using nzbd or sorry, nzb.su. And uh, you will have to sign up for this and if you would like more downloads you're gonna have to pay about for just 20 downloads per day that's pretty good uh, it's a free account so again since I already have an account I'll just log in and once this is opened we're gonna enter in anything we want to download for example if I'm looking for uh, the latest uh, Top Gear episode uh, or uh, a game Portal 2 or any kind of uh, so I know a new South Park episode recently aired so I'm just gonna search it up and over here uh, we see the different uh, episodes uh, 
So, for example, if you'd like HD or possibly just SD or uh, many different categories available. So, for example, if I'd like that you're getting a old episode for uh, 1080i, uh, I will download the 2.86 gig file. So, let's go ahead and download the NZB file. So, just like that, it finishes off. And uh, just like you do to a torrent file, you just double click on it. And for my case, I'm going to select uh, which program it sh should open it. Uh, possibly for you, it's going to be automatic. But let's just go ahead and do this. So once uh, I add it, opens up right into the uh, SAB, uh, SAB program, and it starts downloading. Uh, now, uh, top here, uh, we can see how fast it's downloading, uh, 601 kilobytes. Uh, now, it's not running at my full speed at all, because uh, I'm the farthest I could be from my router. Uh, but f usually when I'm hardwired or I'm sitting close to the router, uh, I get about 1.2. 1.2 uh, megabytes per second. Oh, there we go. 1.1 1. 1 megabytes per second, uh, which pretty much just caps my uh, 1.3 megabytes per second download speed, which is pretty damn good, I would say. Uh, so we're just going to pause this, and we see how uh, we see how fast it's downloading. That's pretty good speed for uh, uh, f for me being so far away from my um, from my router. But again, so you'll need the Usenet client, you need the server, and finally you need the search engine. Uh, and for me, again, SAB was my client, followed by Gig and USB in the server, and depending on how much I want to pay, I'll change it up. Followed by uh, NZ, NZB, the SU, being my search engine. And uh, you can get multiple search engines. There's other free ones, that wasn't the only free one, but. Uh, I don't know, I like it. So, that's pretty much it. If, uh, if you have any questions, please post in the comments or send me a message. And uh, like or dislike this video, do what you gotta do. Or uh, possibly subscribe, you know. Uh, I, I wanna get uh, making more videos because I have lots of, uh, uh, lots of tutorials and other ideas. So, uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.